value is it, which is why we do not have any auto delivery available on this one. They are ribeye steaks. They're huge. Look at the size of them. Nine and a half ounces. Not four ounces or five ounces, nine and a half ounces in size. And you don't need to season them because they're already marinated in honey teriyaki. It's in 54300. Brand new price and easy pay going up and disappearing at the end of the day. And it's also a buy more, save more. Do you want a set of six or the set of 12? If you go for the set of 12, you save $19 by bundling your orders that way. Um, first of all, ribeyes are amazing, but I think we need to start with your brand for yeah. those who are not familiar with you. How long has Kansas City State Company been around? Right. Well, you know what? We started in 1932, uh, started selling locally around Kansas City, started selling the steakhouses, hotels and everything and grew nationally until we met QVC. Mm -hmm. And then in 1995, we wanted to bring kind of the, the quality of steaks that you couldn't get at your grocery store or your club store. We wanted to bring the same quality of steaks that you wish you could get, you know, that you get in your restaurant. Right. So that's exactly what we're giving you. Now, even today, most of our business is selling to restaurants and hotels and some of the finest steakhouses throughout the country. So we're bringing the same quality, the same way. You know, Western Kansas corn-fed aged beef. We've been about that. You've heard me say it yeah. a million times. We brag about that because we don't change with the time. You know, it, we, we know what we like. We know what creates the you best quality steak. You know what steak, works. And this is it. Now, ribeye steaks are known, and in my opinion, they're known to be the most flavorful rich steaks that you can get. I got to tell you, this is actually one of Greg's all time favorite things. Like he's not really supposed to pick favorites before, for, before the show. He was like, this is really my favorite. Yeah, the ribeye. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, <laughs> well, first off, I think if you were to quiz everybody and say, OK, you're a steak lover. If you had one last steak to have, <laughs> the name ribeye. Your steak, I think probably you're going to be looking at a lot of people choosing the ribeye because you know, of the flavor. You know what? They have a lot of marbling. They have a little higher fat, and there's nothing wrong with having a little fat in some steak. And you know, Aww. these are made from prime ribs. So we present our prime rib here a lot of times during the year. And these are actually just steaks oh my God. cut from the prime rib roast. So we've talked about that. We know how prime rib is rich and, and, and you know, decadent and just you know really melts in your mouth. And that's because these are the same steaks. Now, take a look. This is one in the package. Again, restaurant quality packaging to protect this restaurant quality steak. Mm -hmm. See all those white lines? We call that marbling. And that is something we really, really brag about because that's the result of that expensive corn feeding that we go through. And then they're aged up to 28 to 35 days. Mm -hmm. Gives it that real rich flavor. It's like aging a fine wine and kind mm -hmm. of developing the flavor of the steak in this case. But Really, that's what melts away and makes these steaks super wonderful. It's tender and juicy. And then I even told you this is my favorite on top of a favorite. The marinade. We do different marinades with a lot of our steaks. Here, go ahead. I got some small. You know pieces. what? Well, hold on a second, because okay. I was eating at one point. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. I took a bite while you were talking. Oh, you sneak. That bite. I see why this is one of your favorite all-time yeah. everything's that Kansas City Steak Company does. Because to your point about having a little bit of extra marbling in there. Boy, does that add some flavor and does it melt in your mouth? But that honey teriyaki does not taste like Asian to me. It just tastes, it actually caramelized and got this crust on the outside. Yeah. It just tasted amazing. Well, that's what it is. Okay. So teriyaki sauce is basically just kind of a, it's a sweetened, you know, thinned out soy sauce or reduced soy sauce really f for the most part. So what it is when we marinate it, and by the way, if you did notice, take a look at the steak one, once again. You're, you're going to so see good. that this steak is still bright red, okay, on both sides. So we put just enough in the marinade just to give it a little hint of that sweetness, of that flavor. I never, love that you don't need to season it at all. You don't do yeah. anything to this, and it comes out perfect. Right, but never overpowering. And if this was a real rich teriyaki sauce, because that's a brown sauce that's going in yeah. here, this would kind of be discolored and it would you're have right. that color. It would look right? brown, yeah. So we keep that nice, bright color in there, injecting just or putting just enough of that marinade in here to give it that sweet flavor. So in a blind taste test, if I said, what's the marinade in here? You would say I would not it's something say really that. wonderful, maybe caramelized onion or something like that, yeah. but it's just a nice sweetness. So it doesn't, so I don't want anybody to be scared off by the fact that you have to make a not stir fry or something. As a matter of not fact, I wish that we had more that we could bring to you. We have a very finite amount of these, which is why we have this one day only value and it's already popular. So I need to remind you, if you do the set of six, because I actually did a little price breakdown for you on this. Oh, and I know that that is a hearty steak, but if you do want to share that plate with the uh, Greenhead lobster tails coming. I got one over here. Be my guest. But here's what we're talking about. You can go for the set of six, and don't forget they're all individually wrapped. You could even, if you wanted to make like you know four and a half ounce, four and three quarter ounce sizes, you could split one and a half if you wanted to. But six of them, fifty nine dollars. That means your price per nine and a half ounce serving is nine dollars and eighty three cents. If you bundle your orders together and you go for the set of twelve, each one of these enormous steakhouse size cuts 
is $8.25 a piece. And if you split that in half, because nine and a half ounces in a lot, is a lot, that would be $4.13 a serving if you split them. I mean, the value here is ridiculous, which is why your price is going up at the end of the day and your easy pay is expiring at the end of the day as well. But like I mentioned, what we got, we got. We were only able to secure a finite amount of these, which is why there's no auto delivery. So with grilling season, yeah. right around the corner, some people are already out there. I would have these for grilling season because they'll stay good for how long in the freezer? They'll stay in your freezer for a year. No flavor or tenderness loss. And you know... An 800 <clears throat> are now gone, by the way. To your point, too, you know, go to your steakhouse. You can't even get the, the kids' meal for 10 bucks. Dude, this you know, would be let alone this is a, a la carte. Almost a 10 ounce ribeye. The steak, the person's asking you all these questions. You have to get the asparagus and the whatnot on the side. Like, that is such an expensive meal. And yet, this costs you either way, it's still less than 10 bucks a serving. And one, and one of the cases, less than $9. This is just outrageously delicious. And it's goof proof because you don't even need to season it with anything because it's already marinated. So, here's my question mm -hmm. it comes frozen, they're in the freezer. If I want to prepare this, when do I take it out, or what are the rules about that? Literally, if you put them on your well, if you put them on your countertop for about 20 minutes, they're going to be plenty thought out to grill them 20 minutes later. Okay. okay? They did, they're you know they're a thick steak, but they're not too thick that they won't thaw out. We always talk about that cool water method. Mm -hmm. um, you know, literally in minutes you can kind of do that. Yeah, they're but, about an inch thick, so yeah, not like a huge tall cut. Exactly. They have a big face because remember yeah. they're cut from the prime rib roast, which is a larger roast. So in order for to get us more surface to get area, almost there. a tent area, there's going to be more surface area, but. Um, yeah, if you do, you and I were talking about this. If you are going to pull them out and put them in your fridge, let's say, oh, all of a sudden I got to run out, but I put them in my fridge. Try not to let them marinate for more than you know two days or so, because anything, out. anything will kind of over marinate. So it's not going to mm -hmm. be bad. It'll just have a little stronger flavor of the marinade. That's right. that's kind of all. So it's not going to it's not going to hurt them. They won't be uh, harmful to eat or anything like and that. But. You know what? As a reminder to you, do not let the word teriyaki sort of throw you off the course. Definitely not. This is a little sweet. It is, and a little, I mean a little, it's really savory. I mean, the whole thing is a rich, it's probably one of the heartiest, deepest, richest flavors I have ever tasted from one of your steaks, with the exception of when you guys do the roasted garlic, but not everybody is a fan of the roasted garlic flavor, so this is just pure depth of flavor. It really is, and again, you know, I always point to the marbling again, because that's where all the flavor source is, but, the ribeye and the prime rib, just so you know, and let's put it out there, that they do have a little bit higher fat content, okay? And it's, it's so worth it. And it's it. so good. <laughs> you know, when you cook it, that's what gives this steak so the, all the great flavor. That's so, the flavor. So fillets are great and sirloins are great and they're much more lean. But I'll tell you, when you're going for 100% flavor, this is the steak to get. My every eyes rolled on this one. Time. You didn't see it. I took the one <laughs> bite while you were totally chatting and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I need to remind you at home of what's going on because I do already know that the 12 count is more limited than the six count. So the buy more, save more idea at QVC is fabulous because we're already giving you in this one day only value a terrific value just on the set of six which are all individually wrapped so you just want to take out one for you you absolutely can the set of six is $59 or $9.83 a steak and your serving is nine and a half ounces but if you bundle two six uh, count orders together you bundle them together for the total of 12 you save $19 by doing it that way so it becomes $99 for the set of 12 eight dollars and 25 cents a piece but because they're nine and a half ounces in size you could cut this in half and that would mean that your serving size is four dollars and thirteen cents for something that is out Outrageously delicious. That's some Leah, good math, Sarah. have you, you know what? I full on broke out the calculator <laughs> on this one. Leah, have, have you ever had the honey teriyaki or any? Hi, how you doing, Leah? I, I, as I was listening okay, to you describe, you. oh, thank you. I, because I love a good ribeye. And so I'm wondering, you know, if you add the, the flavor of. So again, the, it's not overpowering in any way, but at the same time, it just gives a really nice sweetness, especially if you grill them. Because mm -hmm. remember, Teriyaki sauce has a lot of, well, it has natural sugars and everything yeah. in there, which when you cook them, are going to kind of caramelize mm -hmm. and give that sort of mm -hmm. nutty, roasty, mm -hmm. roasted sweetness that you're going to get. It's a very so it, roasted it really flavor. Does. I don't lose the flavor of the steak, no. right. which is what I love, What you know, which is what we love about a ribeye. But it does give just that hint of the sweet with the teriyaki. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Isn't it's very it? good. Ooh, thank because you. Because it's you're marinated, welcome. the flavor goes all the way mm -hmm. in instead of yep. just being the crust just on, on the top. outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very nice. Oh, thank you. You're, you're welcome, welcome, Leah. So once again, these this is one of I mean, I 
I can't recall many times in the past where you've done a hearty serving size of nine and a half ounces. Only occasionally have you done something that was even closer to 10? Yeah, right. In the, in the ribeye, you know, you almost have to do, you know, anywhere from an eight ounce to a 10 ounce. Again, for the same mm -hmm. reasons, because it comes from the primary roast and it's, and it is a little bit larger of a cut. And you know, let me try to get one right here. And this is, this is in honor of, of David that David likes his steaks kind of on the medium well. So let's see, I I'm not sure if this You know what, this is an important yeah. point because I am the person who wants it as rare, as, rare as it is right. legally possible to make it. But David definitely likes his things more well done. And you can see that it doesn't get it doesn't get hard, it doesn't get tough, even though you've cooked it more. Right, so this is probably, you know, on the high, medium, even medium well right now. And juicy, it's got all that great flavor. Can you flavor give me a bite of that? It. I want to yeah. taste that, actually. Yeah, definitely. Even though it's not really my thing in lieu of David Venable, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite of. Oh, can you cut that in half? Oh yeah, sure. You know, a sorry, lot of people sorry, do like their bites. steaks. You know, I mean, uh, like David and you know, my father was the same way, and everybody. My dad wanted his kind of black charcoal bouncing on the floor or whatever. So it juicy, matter. yeah, right. But you get all the great so flavor juicy. still, and no sacrifice in the flavor, regardless of what temperature you like having your steaks. Yeah. So it's really easy to cook. Now, Sharon, yes. as far as how you cook these. You can cook these on your outdoor grill, of course. Mm -hmm. I love to get, if, whether it's a cast iron skillet or just a pan with a little bit of oil and get it nice and hot, put your steak down there and just leave it for about three minutes on one side and then move it to your other side for three minutes and you get a really, really nice kind of crust. It's best in a cast iron skillet, but if you don't have one, a pan, a, a normal okay. pan will do. I love and these tips, that's awesome. you get a real crusty awesome. flavor on the outside. So you get a crunch almost. Yeah. The, like you do with the prime rib on the outside. Yeah, of that. That's it right. It forms that very quickly. So that sweetness will come out. So it's a really good way to, you can broil them. So however you like to do your steaks, it's perfect for that. And by the way, leftovers too, if there's oh. any left, or not even leftovers, but if you want to make the best steak sandwich you've ever had, oh. it is, I put blue Slice cheese on there and some caramelized and some roasted onions and peppers. Blue cheese. And this is a man-sized breakfast with a nine and a half ounce ribeye, three eggs, Dude. And some potatoes, man. I'm all about that. That's that good. is, yeah, because you have to put a fried egg on top. Yeah, yeah, I've got three <laughs> the of them. whole family <laughs> has to think about putting fried eggs on top of it. I got three of them, man. So there's three of them. You, it's <laughs> one for every three ounces of the steak, you know? Exactly. Okay. I love that. And then we also have the lobster tail yep. here, courtesy of Greenhead Lobster, that's coming up in a few minutes in the show. But what you need to understand is what this offer is because this continues to be extraordinarily popular. And one of the reasons is there is no auto delivery here. There is. I say a finite, it's like in a little box. We can't add to the amount of what we were able to bring in today. What we have is it with no auto delivery. The price is exceptional, but it does go up at the end of the day. So your choice is your set of six for $59, breaking down to $9.83 a steak. Or if you bundle your two orders of six together for the order of 12, it's $19 less when you do the bundle, which I think is always so terrific. And your shipping is always free, um, except your price on this one breaks down to $8.25 a steak for nine and a half ounces. That, what? I mean, to get a steak like this in a steakhouse, we're not kidding when we're telling you about the whole a la carte thing. If you've never been to one of those really gourmet steakhouses, everything is separate and your main steak your potatoes are fourteen dollars. I was gonna say right? your your your, your green beans and asparagus, asparagus are right, right are the price we're talking about here per steak. Right, and and again, remember when we came here, we wanted to bring those steaks. We wanted to bring that quality that you get in a restaurant with having going without having to go to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I love cooking at home. I love to go out to eat too, but I don't go out really, really that often. I mean, I, I really like to cook at home. My wife and I You're are kind of home bodies. Yeah, we're in control, but I get to eat what I want to eat. And yeah, I don't have to pay a fortune just like the rest yeah. of us too. But, but a lot of times you have to sacrifice the quality if you have to go to your grocery store. Now you don't have to. Look, we've been here for 20 to years now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the whole idea. We, we came here 22 years ago. We You're never a grown went, up now. We're a grown you up. You can drink now. You're but 22. <laughs> not only is the quality there, it's there every single time. You know, our restaurants, think about it. The restaurants that use us and have used us for years and years and years, they're using our quality steaks and slapping their name on it. So their right. reputation, not ours, is on the line. Right. So that means everything for them. And then when the QVC families open up one of our boxes, we want them to have the confidence every single time that they're getting that great quality and we guarantee that. So don't forget, this has been marinated, so no seasoning comes with no. it because it's not necessary. The steak essentially has already been seasoned from the inside for you. Over 2,000 of these are gone. If you want the 12 count, 
Oh, it, when you just started talking like a minute ago, mm -hmm. Greg, we had 800 remaining in that 12 count. We are now already down to 700 remaining in that 12 count. And because these will stay good for a year, and I want to show this to you again, because of the way they're packaged individually with all of the air removed, these can stay in your freezer for up to a year. So if you go for that 12 count, this may not be necessarily something that you're cooking up all the time because it really is very special, which is why we're only able to do this kind of once today for this product.